Okay, Mahmoud, how are you doing, Mahmoud? The mic is yours. Hello. Hi. Um, I've been con I have converted to Islam for about four months or so. All right. Um, I feel confident to debate you and disprove you and guide you to Allah. So you you are a you are a person who converted to Islam four months ago from which religion? Um, atheist. Oh, uh, your religion was atheist. You worship what? The name of your god? At that time. I did not believe in God. Hmm. All right, go ahead. Convert me, please. I'm listening, and you are welcome. <clears throat> Aren't you usually going to bring up an argument? I'll defend it. I have no I argument. I know nothing about Islam, as you see. I mean, uh, Allah, He have a dog in the cave, and He have two hands. That's it. I am, I am silenced. What I can say? The only religion says that God, He discovered that dogs have hands, is Islam. There are so many scientific miracles in Islam, by the way. That's give, fine. give me one. one. Give, give me, hit me with one, but please don't cause injury. Go ahead, Mahmoud. Give me the miracles of Allah. I'm getting okay. Um. Okay. The, here, you want the source, or you want me to explain? My friend, hit me. Hit me with the miracle. I don't source. You know. You tell me. I don't know. I'm okay. learning. I'm learning Sura, from you. Surah twenty thirty. Surah twenty one Surah twenty one. Who and it is who he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. All heavenly bo uh, bodies in an orbit are swimming. Okay. They predicted they predicted the orbits before they scientifically did uh, decided it. Mm hmm. What is the miracle there? It was prophesied already before. What he said. Also, if you, what, if you what is the, where is the miracle there? I don't see the miracle. What is the miracle? Allah created it. Allah created it. It's a miracle. I, I, I can say I, I, I can say I can say I created those things too secondly you said to me chapter what 21 um 33 21 33 chapter 21 to verse 33 okay can you read for me 21 33 please slowly and it, and it is he who uh -huh. created the night and the day and the sun and the moon all heavenly bodies it's in parentheses in an order. Thank you. So here, actually, don't you see? I don't, what is your education? Do you do you have high school or you have high school? Um, above high school, yeah. What what is education you have? Um, I have college. Okay. According to the college you went to, did they teach you that the day and the night are the physical object and they float? Yes. What do you mean? No, yes, the night is a physical thing, and it goes, it woke, and the day too. Yes, it's a physical thing because without the sun, it will become night. No, you see, the sun is the physical thing, the day and the night, because the earth is moving around itself. Yes, yeah, so it is. Aha! Uh -huh. So there is nothing. It's called nay and die to create them in the way he's because he's saying they are floating. He's explaining. How the day happen? So the day, the night, and the sun and the moon, each one of them, which means all of them, they are in orbit moving. But the truth is, the night and the day are not moving anywhere. There's nothing that's called day, day and night is moving. So you're saying there is no orbit? Don't change the topic. I'm talking about the day and the night. Do the day and the night they have an orbit? Yes, because the sun, what's it called? The earth revolves around but the sun. He, he mentioned the sun there. Obviously, he don't mean the sun. He said the day, the night, and the sun, and the moon. All of them. implying that the night and the day are orbiting? No, they don't. Because simply, there's nothing, nothing. That, uh, okay, which science taught you that there is an object, it's called day, an object called, uh, called, called night? We came up with the name. So they are not. Ex so they are not. Ex Allah, okay. Allah. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Focus with me. Focus with me. We are talking about what? We are talking about the day and the night changing. Correct. Yes. All right. So now, based on the science you study, do the day and the night keep moving as object, 
and the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon, they are object. Is the day and the night are the object? Yes, we agree. <laughs> who is the one who said to you? Who is the one says to you? Yes, they are. Can you give me his name? Right here, try to find it. Remember, you are the one who quote this verse, and right away you are in trouble. Here, here, I'll read some of the commentaries made by scholars. The, the commentary by scholars confirming that they are stupid. What they can say, they can say Allah is wrong. Are you, are you, are you okay, my friend? The day and the night are not moving anywhere. It is the earth. It's not even neither of those objects is moving to cause the day and the night. Neither. Neither the, neither the sun, neither the moon, neither the day, neither the night. It is the earth. So your God Allah, he shot four bullets. None of them hit the target. Because the one who caused the okay, day and the night, the, seven, the one who caused the, the one who caused the, the day and the earth. night, listen, the one who caused the day and the night to happen for us is the earth going around itself every 24 hours, correct? Yes. Okay, so here Allah is wrong. He is explaining the day, and I ask you, is it this is how to, explaining how the day and the night occur? Are you you said yes. Your God is also wrong because it's exactly the same thing. No, my God, He said He created let be light, and He called the light day. So when the, the day is exist, there is a light. So that is light. This is the sun. This is okay, the stars. So the, listen, 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 listen. And now, and now, do you agree? That <clears throat> that your God can't be God because He made a mistake. It's the Earth go around itself. Give me an. Sure I will. I will. I will. I will. A metaphorical explanation to it. I'll have to ask my uh, Imam. Oh, okay. I will. I will. I will give you a tenth century to ask the Imam. Give me the second miracle. The, the first one. It was like a, bl a blank bullet. It hit Allah actually. There is there is the seven earths the verse with the seven earths wonderful if there is seven earth exist yes where are they <clears throat> they are the crust uh, uh, mantle outer core inner core lithosphere ah uh -huh. the, is that is, is that what the quran okay hold on so according to yes, the quran ah seven earth okay well, it right. says Earth, and it doesn't imply actual planets. It implies all planets right, all right. Listen, listen. It is you who said to me, "We can read the scholars what they say about this." Is that correct? Yeah. What okay. does what the scholars they say about this verse? Can you read for me? What is scholar you like me to read it from? I'm not really sure on that topic. You are the one who chose in the, the miracle and you said yeah, there is an inner and the bigger and you know. Stuff. Okay, no, tell me, tell me who is, what, what the scholar they say about this because we need to laugh. Okay. Uh -huh. They say it's talking about the crust of the earth, the mantle, the outer No, no, no. Those corner. are not the scholars. Those yeah. are, those are articles written by Abdul these days. Give me what the scholars they say. Here, let me find it for you. Uh -huh. <coughs> if you want my help, let me know. I can't tell you. I'm confused still. What's your question? There are seven earths. Well, you are a Muslim. I never is. heard of a Muslim is not confused. Thank you. You said to me that this is about seven layers of the earth. First yes. of all, first of all, this is a lie. Earth. The earth doesn't have that. Secondly, my friend, the earth doesn't have seven. Th th listen, no listen. No Secondly, the, no the Quran says seven earths, not seven layers of the earth. He didn't say. Yeah, that's listen, it's listen. He did not say. Okay. The, does the verse say? Listen, listen. Does the verse? Does the verse say seven layers of the earth or the earth? There is seven earth and seven sky. It says seven earths. Exactly. So why you are talking about seven layers of the earth? Part, it's still a part of the earth. Listen. Still a part so of why the you earth, are talking? Why, why you are? Where you got this is that this is about layers in the earth? Where it says that? 
It says, Allah, it is who hath created seven heavens and the earth and of the earth. My friend, it's talking about my, the my friend, you are an ignorant, you are an ignorant like your prophet. The Quran is speaking about, about listen, about listen, 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 listen. Your, your prophet, he is talking about the planets named by the Greek. There are seven. He's not talking about seven earth underneath of us. If we go right now, check. Okay, let me ask you this then. Why don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. And you will see right away, it it's talking about what? So your prophet is copying what the Greek teach about a planet, certain planet, and he claimed that Allah created seven earths and he called those are earths. If we go and read the interpretation of your uh, scholars, and I ask you, uh, can you read for me what, what your scholar they said? What you did? You gave me a speech, right? Did I you give you the scientific answers to their verse? No, no. I said to you, the scholars, what the scholars say is not those people they are making an article today. What the scholars Abu say is... Salama? Huh? You mean Abu Salama? How what? It's a Sai al Bukhari. Um, whoever asserts. Wait, am I reading it? Yeah. It steps through the seven earths will be colored to his neck. And what? And then? It's, it's in the book of oppression. All right. Okay. So let us go and see. Let us go and see what your prophet he says about those. Uh, give me a second here. You want to talk about my prophet? Don't don't talk. Don't talk. Don't, 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 don't change topic one by one. One by one. Let us finish one by one. You know, why you want to jump? All right, here we go. According to your prophet, the distance between the, each earth and the other one is 500 years. 500 years between each earth. So there is there is seven earths that they are separated. They are not one earth. And those seven earths, let us see if we can find the hadith in English. It says seven planets instead. Yeah, seven Earth is seven planet. Yes, but they are there is there is a distance between them and they are in the top of each other So let us see here uh, How we can find this in English if we can if we cannot we will use Google translation To show what it says Okay, maybe we cannot find it in English then let us do this Here we go This is your official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia And I will use Google Translation. Do you see my screen? <clears throat> yes. All right. Translate to English. You speak Arabic? Um, no. All right. That's why they fool you. So now we translate to English, and now we will go down. What do you, you fool me? What do Listen. You mean? Yeah, yeah. You are just a fool, man. I just uh, you, this is the most stupid religion ever. So listen to this. So now they are asking Muhammad. Listen, listen. They are asking Muhammad about the seven earth and the seven heaven. So Muhammad described that there is seven heavens and there is distance between them 500 years. <laughs> and then he talked about the seven earths. So look down. It says here. Let us go down to the earth. He said, they said that God and his messenger knows best. It is asking them, do you know what is this land? The seven earth is? Where are they? They said God and his messengers knows best. He said, under that land, he said, do you know how much space is between them? They said, God and his messengers knows best. He said, between them is the distance of Ham, which is 400 for a hundred year. Enter, you count seven earth. So now you go down 100 year. If you go, by the way, he translation is false. So if you go down by a rope, that's why he said in Arabic. When he go down by a rope, it is a distance of 100 year. Those are earths are separated and they are a planet. They are not the same one. And the distance between them, as you see, and this is your prophet saying that. And this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. And this is the book of At-Tabari. Tafsir At-Tabari. Do you see it? 
This is not my words. Yes. Okay, so those are what Islam teach. So when the Muslim they say to you seven planet, seven layers of the earth, this is a stupid of you to believe them without studying, because as you see, your prophet is speaking about a massive distance between each heaven is five hundred years, between each earth and other earth is one hundred year, and according to your prophet, you go down with the rope. <laughs> Do you agree with this or this is funny and silly? What do you mean by go down with the rope? It says like here, what? he said you descend, you do you, can what? you read, can you read, does it say here, by the one who is my hand, my soul, if a man were to be led by a rope until he reached reach the bottom of the seven earth, he would descend upon God. <laughs> okay, it's metaphorical. You cannot take what metaphorical? It's you who said to me a second ago it was seven layers of the earth. Now it's metaphorical. I mean, guys, look at this mental Ill illness. He is the one who says to me, This is a miracle. How the Quran described descri descri the earth layers? It was not a metaphorical. Because there was one study, there was one study of some listen. Some it, when you it's came to me, you did not say this is metaphorical. You spoke about and you count for me the layers of the earth. Now, because it's so stupid and so obvious, you are saying to me, it's metaphorical. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Muhammad. I'm more of a sick of, um, Ah, about, about Muhammad. Okay, the monkey game. Uh, how far you can jump from a tree to a tree? Like, are you, like you can jump 10 meters? Why you want to change the topic? Give me another miracle to show you how stupid you are. I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm insulting stupidity. Go ahead. Why do you believe he was a pedophile or a monkey or whatever? Don't talk about monkeys. According to Islam, monkeys are Muslim. Don't you know? No. Monkeys are Muslims. Monkeys are Muslims and they practice Sharia law. Let me show you the Quran. Here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. All right. Chapter 6, verse number 38. According to the Quran, all animals are creatures like you and they are Muslims. Do you agree with that? Wait, 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 what does it say? What? Where? Chapter 6, verse number 38. What does it say? Monkeys. Well, the monkeys. Does it say monkeys? Uh, okay, I have connection with monkeys. They told me that they are Muslim. Just wait. Have patience. Do you agree with this verse that monkeys are Muslims and they have a book sent by Allah and they follow Allah? There's nothing about monkeys here. No, I saw that in the article. It says Muslim believe that monkeys are Muslims. Why you don't want to believe that? Article written by the atheist. What is your question? Is that it doesn't talk about monkeys in this okay. verse. Okay, so is it possible that monkeys are Muslims or this is stupid to say? It's stupid to say that. Thank you. Well, this is the hadith. I will put it in the front of you. The Muslim, they witness that monkeys, they are doing Sharia Allah. A female monkey, she cheated her husband, Mr. Shapanzi, and Abdul Shapanzi, when he found that his wife, Mrs. Fatima Shapanzi, she was cheating on him. He called the judge of Sharia Allah and they stoned her to death. And this is the hadith in the front of you. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Can you read it for us? During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she-monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned it along with them. Hmm. Illegal sexual intercourse? You said to me, this is stupid. Okay, so let me ask you this. Don't change topic. When, when, you when just insult, insult you just insulted you just you, him, don't right? so don't change the, don't change the topic. You just insulted Allah, shame on you. I will call the police of of Allah for you. Did you just say that this is stupid to believe in? And you said you are a Muslim? My friend repent. It's not talking about Muslims being uh, monkeys. No, no, yeah, those those are monkeys. Those are monkeys, Muslim. Where Don't you, you see? The, where did you get the idea Muslims are monkeys, though? I'm not saying Muslims are monkeys. I'm saying the monkeys are Muslims. You literally just said that. No, I said to you, 
Is it true that monkeys are Muslims? Are you stupid or what? And I show you the verse in the Quran and you said to me it doesn't say anything about monkeys. And now I'm showing you the monkeys practicing Sharia law and they are stoning a female monkey for she cheated. And not only that, uh, Abdul, a Muslim, a decent Abdul, a, a companion of Allah Prophet, a disciple of Allah Prophet, he joined them and he started throwing rocks at the female monkey because she cheated. It's in the front of you. Okay, but this is this is not about Muhammad. I only know a lot about. Muhammad. Okay, let us talk about Muhammad. Do Muhammad be 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 you know behave like monkeys? No. Okay, what monkeys do when you said no? What do you mean, what monkeys do? Why you said no? What they, monkey? What monkeys do? to say no like what what is exactly ugly about monkey they they fight they what they say no when they say they fight when they say no that's how they respond they fight what is your i don't get your question how will do you, they say no will that's muhammad he kill everybody if nobody agree with him does that mean he's a monkey too it doesn't it doesn't matter he killed them because they went against allah ah so if I, if you are against jesus i can kill you now no, because Jesus isn't a God. Ah, <laughs> no, he's God. He knows he's my God. Now listen, let us go and and uh, okay, I so you cannot use that analogy. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, I I I like you really. You are very smart. So now the question for you. Everything you said to me proving to be false until now, and actually it's an error. Can you give me one reason for you to believe in Islam left? Yes, there's many reasons. Like what? Give me one. Okay, yeah, let me find it. Uh huh. Let me find it once again. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of reasons. Allah protects me. Allah guides me. Well, here we go. Head. Allah protect me. That's a good one. So how come Allah could not protect Muhammad from the Jewish women who put for him? Poison she bought from Walmart for 50 cents. You're a prophet. Is he protected by Allah or not? If Allah protects you but you don't want to protect Muhammad, that is a problem. Big problem. This is your prophet. And this is a da'if hadith. It says. It's not a reliable hadith for me. So what if it's not reliable? Islam is not reliable, brother. Are you saying to me Islam is not reliable and there's nothing in Islam we can trust? No, I'm talking about the Quran. Pick from the Quran, not from the Hadith. Ah, well, not okay. So, but uh, is so okay. What in the Quran is teaching you how how many time to pray? It's in the Hadith. In the Quran, it says you do muta. In the Hadith, it says don't do muta. So you have to follow the Hadith. Everything in Islam is in the Hadith. So now read with me. It says the Prophet in his element in which he died used to say we used used like every day like oh oh my gosh oh boy the poison i ate in khaybar is i feel now is cutting my heart oh it's hurting you know this is what you profit how come allah did not protect him how come he he did not protect aisha no muhammad muhammad not aisha oh hmm. Um, because he committed adultery. Ah, because Muhammad committed adultery, so Allah decided to kill him? Yes. Ah, so your prophet is a filthy man. I mean, he's not. He, what's it called? But he committed a sin. Ah, so your prophet, he could not keep his private part in his zipper. So Allah, he was watching his zipper open all the time. Allah, he decided to punish what is behind the zipper. So now Allah, he sent the Jewish woman. She went to the kitchen of Muhammad. She put poison in the goat. She bought some poison from Walmart. Cheap one. I mean, I, what, is, what is, you know, what is making me angry? I wish she bought actually expensive one. I mean, shame on her. But what you can say, she's cheap. She bought very cheap rat poison and she uses for profit police be upon him and now you are saying to me the reason for that to happen Allah is punishing the Muhammad because he fornicate so how come Allah is not punishing the Muslims who fornicate all Muslims they fornicate Islam actually is the religion of fornication 
You can do muta. Do you do muta? What is muta? Muta is you rent a woman for sex. Wait, what? For sex, for sex, you pay her money to take off her clothes. Like you see her in the elevator, you say to her, how much you charge me for like 15 minutes, boom, boom. So you're saying, so you're saying Islam is the religion of uh, sexual sex? Really? You did not notice that until now? Like, isn't it your religion? All of it is about if you believe in Allah, Allah will give you endless private part and uh, women, uh, endless number of women and her butt is one mile and your private part will never go steep. Now you don't he know? Explained, my, my imam explained to me why um, he had sex with Aisha. That's the only part I understood. Muhammad, he had sex with Aisha? Yes. But Aisha is his wife, so what the problem? Is that because oh, she is a child? Oh, because she's six years old. Oh. Ah, he had saying. sex. Uh, he, so you are saying to me, you decide to follow a prophet. He's a pervert. So because he is six years old, Allah, he punish him because he they is a pervert. They gave me a reason for that. They gave me a reason for that. No, no, but it's you who said to me that. It's you who said to me, Allah punish him because he had sex with Aisha and she is six years old, correct? Yes. Okay, but how, how you follow a man his God himself punish him for he is a pervert. Because he was able to prophesy a bunch of things and he was able to guide everybody to submit to Allah, even though he sinned himself. Oh, he is doing evil, but he can guide you. Shouldn't he guide himself first? Huh? Because... Okay, listen. If I see my friend and he, I ask him, did you get married? And he said to me, I get a marriage from a mature woman. And then I say to him, you should find a little child so you can have sex with her. Does that make me pervert? Because I'm guiding him to no, be pervert. No, it's okay. You just need to relieve yourself. Ah, oh, okay. Relieve yourself. But I'm telling the guy. Yes. But I am telling the You're guy to. to guide no, listen, of listen, Mr. Relief. Guide millions of people you, throughout. you are like. You need to uh, yeah, yourself. yeah. I was a member in the Onurwa before. Listen. So I will relieve myself in the Onurwa. But now I am telling the guy, not me. I'm telling the guy. Hey, listen. Why you marry an old woman? What about you marry a child? Do you think this is a pervert teaching or I'm guiding him for something good? So he's married already. He's married to growing women. I say to him, no, no, no. You should go and find a child. Don't you think this is making me not a person, not a good person? No, because it makes you, it's okay to do that. The fresher, the better. The fresher is the better. <laughs> Allah has explained to us that we need to take care of both of ourselves and uh, while following him. Ah, so if you have sex with a child, it is the fresher, the better? No, back then, back then it was okay. Ah, now it's but not. No, uh, how do you mean? What do you mean back then? What back then? That uh, back, back then, then the child, the time back the then the child is a child, six years old. Actually, Aisha, she was five because six years old in the Islamic calendar, she is five in our calendar. So now, what back then? You must have you practice this until now. I practice. We practice what? You practice sexual relationship with kids until now. No, that's it. It was only back then. Ah, no, no, that's not true. You can check it out. You will find yes, everybody. Can you prove? Can you prove? Prove it to me. Give me sources. Okay, uh, uh, in the Quran is teaching you, you Muslim, isn't it? Quran is for every time. Or Quran only for that time. For every for that time. Quran is only for that time. So what yes. is so what is your book this time now? You are watching Joe Biden. No, the, during the time of Muhammad. Yeah, but I'm telling you. So now, if the if the book is for that time, so what is your book for now? It's for what's it called? To prepare us for the uh, for the day of judgment. Ah, okay, okay. Now listen. <clears throat> uh, is your parents there? Um, no. Are they stupid? Um, no. So why you are stupid? I'm not. I follow Allah. How you follow Allah? You know nothing about Allah. You are, say, you, you are saying to, to you are the one who said to me you are the one who said to me Allah he killed Muhammad because he's a pervert and then you, you are the one who said to me that Muhammad is guiding us 
which mean yeah, that the one who guide you us. from your from your mouth the one who is guiding you now is a pervert are you a pervert too no do you accept to have sex with the children no do you like to have slaves with our little boys no so why you accept them to be in heaven I don't know shouldn't you ask yourself according to the Quran Allah will provide you endless numbers of boys and according to Muslims those boys uh, they are so white uh, they are so sexy and they will serve you for eternity now we don't want to say they are going to have sex with you we do not know but the Quran says it clearly that those boys are going to be in your home forever. And you said no. Why? Because this is not moral. This is not nice. This is not good. You know, I thought if we go to heaven, uh, we will not have a slavery no more. It turned to be no. There's women as slaves for sex. There's boys as slaves can for we, sex. Can we, can we switch topics real quick? Okay, switch topic. How can you say? How can you say? What's it called? Jesus is God. When in Numbers twenty three nineteen it says, "God is not man." Well, the the verse you are quoting, you see, you Muslims are not not uh, not truthful. It says, "God is not a man who lie." So it doesn't say God yes. is not a man. Okay. So did Jesus lie? Jesus said, "Who can prove me to be a sinner?" Nobody. Everybody was a mute and silence. In the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, it says the Holy Son, God, He came, He sent the other spirit to Mary, and He said to her, I am here to announce to thee the gift of a Holy Son. So even the Quran confirmed that Jesus is holy, and that what made, what God is about. According to the Quran, angels are not holy, but Jesus is holy. So you're, so you're saying, uh, shut up. You're saying, you're Listen. saying because, because Jesus said he's God and he managed to prophesy the few things he's God. Okay, so why can you use that? Shut up, logic shut up. Muhammad? First because of all, it's not, he was shut up, shut up. Jesus did not prophesy and that make him God. Jesus, he created from the mother bird in the Quran. That make him a creator. Jesus, he healed the leper. Jesus, he made the blind see. Jesus, he resurrect people from death, which only God can do. So Jesus do what God can do only. Your prophet could not do any, even your God, Allah. He will so go. You're saying Jesus, Jesus is the only one that can create life. Prove me wrong. If there is anyone you can prove me, he did what Jesus did. No one. Can your God, Allah, do what Jesus did? Prove me. Yes. Where speech? We have a proof that we have witnesses of Jesus doing those miracles, but nobody saw Allah doing anything. There's a book that says you, Allah did have this. Have you seen him? Have you seen him do it? Have you seen Jesus do it? Uh, no, no. But I saw that God He okay, created. So how can you say just shut up, shut up, just go. I have no time for kids. Go, go, stay as a Muslim. You're an idiot. When we believe in Jesus, not because Jesus said I'm God, that is not a reason. But your Quran confirmed that Jesus is holy and that is God. Your Quran confirmed that Jesus is alive, which means he's God. Everybody is dead. The Quran says, Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul qad khalat min rusul. Muhammad is nothing but a prophet. All prophets before him they die. All prophet. The Muslim translation they say, prophets before him die. That's false. That's false. The messengers, all of them, they die before him. All of them. Obviously, Jesus is not, because according to Islam, Jesus don't die. Jesus, according to Islam, is alive now. Jesus, according to Islam, he is now in heaven. Jesus, according to Islam, is coming back. Jesus, according to Islam, when Shaitan he see him, he dissolve like salt dissolve in water. So look at this. He is the only one person who have no father, yet he is born. A stupid Abdul, he said to you, Adam, but Adam is not born. Adam is a creator from mud. He is the only one in the Quran 
was the word of God sent down to Mary and became a man. This is exactly Muhammad quoting John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. The word became a flesh. The word was with God and the word was God. He is the only one described as holy, no fault in Islam. Muhammad is a sinner. In fact, the Quran described Muhammad's sin that nobody knows if Allah will forget, forgive his sin or not. Even Allah, which is very weird. How can God say such a statement? Is not sure that Allah will forgive Muhammad's sin or not? Huh? And the Muslim, they translate the word sin into fault, which is absolutely false. The Quran say clearly, Dhambaka, your sin. You see, you just change the translation. Translation. So this is Muhammad, the one you yourself, you call him pervert. Can you say that Jesus was like Muhammad? No. So Jesus, the creator, that is Jesus. Jesus is the resurrector, that is Jesus. Jesus says, I am the life, I am the resurrection, I am the truth. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the life. I am the door. Nobody go to the Father but by me. And then they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God. All those Muhammad, he took them and he gave them as a name for his God. So now Allah, in the, Quran, in the, in the Muslim, they call him Al-Haq. What does that mean? The truth. Well, this is the name was given to Jesus by Jesus. 600 years before Muhammad. Muhammad is started. Muhammad, he said, Allah is the resurrector. Well, this is what Jesus called himself 600 years before Muhammad. I am the resurrection. Not only the resurrector, he is the resurrection. Muhammad, he said that Allah is the creator. But in his same stupid book, he says that Jesus created you from the mother bird. And the Bible says everything created by him and for him. That is Jesus. The Quran confirmed that the Messiah is holy. And Muhammad is a very filthy sinner. To the point Allah himself is not sure. Allah is asking other God, his name is Allah. May Allah forgive your sin. We don't know. In the past and the one to come, license for sin. I will let you talk back, but try to be smart. I don't have time for stupidity. Go ahead. <coughs> now that I'm looking at it, I feel like my eyes are more open now, to be honest, after talking with you. So do you're you, right. Maybe Islam. Maybe maybe Islam is false. Maybe there is a bunch of contradictions. Maybe. But maybe after all, what I show you are saying to me. Maybe are you serious? It's I don't know. I don't know. It's obvious. No. What, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm, I might leave. I might leave Islam. You you have to leave it. I mean, there is no way a person he have, he have a intellect he will accept to be part of such a sexual violent cult. You're right. So do you denounce Muhammad, my friend, and you leave Islam? Yes. I mean to that. Now let me ask you, and I invite you to believe in the Messiah as your Lord and Savior. What do you say? I'll have to think about it more. What what uh, what do you want to think about the Messiah? If there is if there is someone better than the Messiah. The reason we say Jesus is God is not because somebody said he's God. I need to learn more. I need to learn more. That's no problem. Well, I invite you to stay here and listen to me. And when you are ready, let me know, and I will help you. But I invite you today to accept the Messiah as your savior, because my friend, you might go to sleep and don't wake up. Me myself, I might go to sleep now, and people never see me again. Who knows? Salvation is not a game, but never follow a pervert, never follow a killer, a rapist. You're right, you're right. Well, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. And when you are ready, if you have any question about Jesus, I will be happy to help you. Until then, thank you very much for joining us. And thank you, thank you. Again, graduation for leaving Islam. Thank you. You're welcome.